Okay, I think we're missing something. Something just seems to be a little off. Is it the background? Oh, I know what it is. Now that's way better. No, it's not. What is- <gasps> Oh, we forgot to turn on the LED. Perfect, perfect. That's what I like. And then- Boom! Now I'm excited, I'm lit up! But you know what isn't a joke? A woman who has a dating list. Sorry, not just any dating list, a dating requirements list. Things she requires for her date to have in order to even introduce herself, meet them in person, they need to meet the criteria. So, this one is gonna be interesting. It was actually on the Steve Harvey show, remember Steve Harvey? <laughs> I have to apologize. The first runner up is Columbia. Yeah, Steve Harvey. He's actually a really good comedian. He has his own show and he got the woman that has a dating requirements list of 46 characteristic traits. Either uh, how you look, how you talk, how you act, your socioeconomic status, which means cash money. Here on Reaction Time, we're going to dive right into it. Before we begin, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Same with Twitter. And uh, I want you guys to tweet me what you think of all of this, but wait till you see it. Not going to lie. There are guys that have pretty high standards when in fact they shouldn't even have high standards. They don't deserve to have high standards but they're like yeah i want my girl to look like a model have rich parents works out every day has a very good job and then there are girls that have these lists as well so without further ado let's put in our seat belt yeah let's go i need these glasses to make sure i'm seeing what i believe in what what that's not how you say it here we go heather bought me her list of requirements so let's check them out he must be between 30 and 45 I'm close. I'm 21. Only nine more years to go. I'll meet the minimum requirement. That's like running for president. Running for president starts at age 35. She's literally has like similar list to presidential requirements. Financially stable. No Financially stable. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, oh, what do we got here? Oh, you thought that was it? Oh, you thought that was it? I'm just teasing you right now. All right, let me put that back. That's that's to do my laundry later. I'm an attractive human being, right? Must be financially stable. What if he's going to be in the future and you know you don't know that, okay? It sounds like I'm Steve Urkel because this is pinching my nose. I can't breathe through my nose now. Let's see what else we got. No kids. I'm good. Five ten or taller. Well, if I must say, I'm six three. Just saying. No hookups or flings. Damn. Ready to settle down. No roommates. No smoking. Must love dessert and Okay, half of these are not that bad and the other half is horrible. Like you have to be 5'10 or taller. What if you're an awesome guy and you're five nine and a half? Do you not qualify? She's too strict with this. Can't be anti-sugar. What does that even mean? I love sugar. It's not fair. What, what what's the deal with the desserts? Well, okay, that's a really important one because I'm the founder and CEO of my own frosting company. <gasps> oh, damn. She is a CEO. She has a title. She is El Capitana. So you have to love dessert or it won't work. <laughs> How would you taste the new frosting flavors? Impossible. And so it's an all natural gourmet frosting. And so I make a lot of desserts okay. and I do a lot of, you know, trade shows and making desserts. Right. So he has to like dessert. If he doesn't like dessert, it's totally a deal breaker. <laughs> Ugh, it's a deal breaker. He has to like dessert. Usually girls would say the opposite. He has to be healthy, but instead she wants him to like dessert. But there's some more requirements. So let's take a look at these. A lot more requirements. Must be uh, honest. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. Reliable, sweet and kind. Sweet and kind, just like your frosting. Quick witted, romantic, must love food, must pay on the first date. So food and frosting, this is a deadly combination. Diabetes and heart disease, it's coming. I'm pretty sure you want your boyfriend um, to last past 45. No flowers on the first date. <laughs> what? No flowers, that's like the common romantic thing guys do. I guess maybe she's allergic to flowers. That could justify it. I'm starting to really feel bad for the guys that have to go on dates with her. She's so strict. Ooh. Must be a social drinker. Okay, okay, amazing. She wants you to eat frosting, drink, and eat food. All the while, you're supposed to stay fit. How is that possible? You tell me. I don't know. I must never wear sweatpants. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, um, you said no sweatpants? Look what I'm wearing. These are comfortable sweatpants, all right? <laughs> okay, let's go back up. This is really hard. It's like squatting. My legs are shaking. <sighs> Should we try to get into the requirements? I mean, those are basics. 
He, what? Uh, what? Basics? Why he can't wear sweatpants? No, the last guy I dated, he we fought all the time because he wanted to go to Starbucks in sweatpants. Oh, I love that. Sweatpants, basketball shorts, sandals. Good combination for a little chillax session at Starbucks. And go to breakfast in sweatpants. And no one should be doing that. Says who? Oh, I guess she makes the rules now. Oh, okay. Okay, does this bother you? If I, if I slurp this? <laughs> Wow, that's cold. That actually hurt my teeth. Wait, can I have a mustache though? Okay, well, we got some more requirements, but we don't have no more. More? Oh. oh my God, no one can't find a man because no man exists with their specifications. Guys, let, let me get one of the pillars over here. Another one? Oh, because they filled up this board right here. They need another board. Oh Lord. All right, here we go. Let's <laughs> see. Must be adventurous, must be humble, must be spontaneous. Must be a planner. Planner? You want me to be a planner? You want to look like this? I'm just kidding. I know what she meant. You have to be a planner. Can't be self-centered. Can't be cocky. What? This is not going to work out. Must love dogs. Can't own a dog from a breeder. So you love dogs, but now there's specifications for how you get the dog. What if you have a breeder friend that has so many dogs and you're trying to take one off? Can't be jealous of her dog. Nice. And can't own a cat. What? You guys know me. I have cats. This is not gonna work. I'm done. I'm leaving. Good luck. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of back. I'll, I'll, I'll compromise. I'm a, I'm a little desperate. Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm a, you can kind of tell though, right? Oh god, I'm done. The hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, Steve. You you can't buy a, you can't have a dog from a breeder? Yeah, I mean, listen, Steve, there's so many dogs out there that are in need of homes that are shelter dogs, and they're really sweet, great dogs. Yeah, so you can get more dogs from shelter homes, and if someone else wants to get a dog from a breeder, why can't they get a dog from a breeder? I, I feel like she's very controlling, so it's gonna be really hard to date a girl like this. You basically have to be um, a dog in order to make her happy, so unless you want to be a dog guy that's going to spend a ton of money to buy a purebred dog it just says something about his character i don't like yeah that. he wants a dog <laughs> so he can adopt oh my god you know what's crazy i think she might want a sugar daddy and that's not a frosting joke that is genuine i think she genuinely wants a sugar daddy that does whatever she says though he can't be jealous of your dog so the last guy i dated he admitted after a few months that he was jealous of my dog what? And he said that I gave my dog more attention than I gave to him. Did you? Well... I'm guessing you did if he says that. Maybe you didn't notice. I oh mean, my, my dog never fought with me. <laughs> what? What? That's such a dog. What is going on? This is interesting. I wonder how this is gonna work out. Your dog probably go hell. <laughs> Woo! Man, damn, glad I'm a dog. <laughs> We're not done yet. Uh, we can get another pillar. In fact, what? What? Two more pillars? This is never gonna Let's end. Bring all of them in here. Bring both of them over. You ready? Must be in shape. Oh, so you need to love dessert and sugar. Must be a drinker. Must love food, but you also must be in shape. She wants Hercules. Don't be silly. Can't have six pack abs. Okay. Okay. Can't be too skinny. Can't have a runner's physique. Okay. Can't be stronger than me. All right, she's crazy. I'm, I'm done. Some guys will be stronger than you, some won't. What does that have to do with your relationship? What, are you afraid they're gonna hit you? If you are, you probably shouldn't date them. That is so weird. I've never had this type of list. Or right. do you guys have this type of list for like your perfect man, perfect woman? Can't be obsessed with sports. You eliminated 99.9% .9 of guys. Can't be a hunter. Can't own a boat. Can't be a gamer. Can't be materialistic. I'm out. <laughs> this has to be fake. I don't believe it. I say we need justice. She eliminated out of the 7 billion, 7.6 billion people in this world. She eliminated 7.5999 billion. Can't be materialistic. Oh God. What does that mean? He can't, he can't want anything? He can't want to buy things all the time. Can you talk to my wife? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Must respect a gluten-free... <laughs> come on, come on. I mean, if he loves you, if he likes you, he'd respect your diet anyways. You don't have to include that in a list. Can't be too close to family and friends. All right, this is crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. 
What, what should we do? What are we gonna do? Must open doors for me. Nice. Must be willing to move someplace warm. Must love traveling. Can't, can't brag about traveling. Oh, oh, we can go there, but you can't tell nobody. We'll go to the Eiffel Tower, but you can't say shut your mouth. <laughs> you telling everybody we was in Arizona for. <laughs> Must maintain eye contact. Are you sure? Are you sure you want us to do that every time we talk? Things are gonna be a little creepy. All right, I need to go to the bathroom. Keep that eye contact, babe. Babe, I said I need to pee. What if you do number two? Can't be a party boy. Can't be intimidated by me. Favorite season, can what? She doesn't like fall, I love fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. Almost all my seasons are my favorite, but what's wrong with fall? Does she have some? She has something against fall. She said it can't be intimidated by me, but I'm intimidated by this list. Look at it. It's ridiculous. I've never seen anybody make something like this. There's more. We ran out of pillars. <laughs> She's like laughing nervously because she knows there is. It's funny because it's true. He can't love fall. The, so the thing about that is that every guy I've gone out with that says their favorite season is fall is they're just, they're so typical. Did she just call me a piece of Oh! And so then they want to go pumpkin picking and apple picking. Yes, that's awesome. And haunted houses. Oh. And, and it's just like it's watching the same movie and knowing the ending every single time. Do you like quiet time? I do. You're going to have a lot of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Steve, don't do her like that. You hit her with that reality check. Man, she's laughing nervously. She might not know it, but it's true. You're young. You're smart. This is a lot, man. Yes. You gotta go. See, if you're looking for a guy with all of that, yeah. I don't know that he exists. No, no. He's gotta exist. You okay. don't think so? Well, let me ask you something. Been eight years. <laughs> I've dated a lot since then. Right, okay, so let me ask you. You got another eight you want to do just like <laughs> No, no. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay, then do you understand what I'm getting at? I'm just trying to help you, Heather. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He got mesmerized by the list. The list of doom. Do any of you guys fit the criteria? Would you want to date this girl? Even if you have everything she says, do you still want to date her? Because I just looked over there and I forgot I must maintain eye contact. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it's weird. You're still in the, you're in the, you're in the toilet and just... No, that's gonna bring it up. All right, guys. Um, I think she might find the perfect man. Let me just get my array of mustaches. Oh yeah, she's gonna want me. She's gonna touch my fuzzy mustache and say, you're such a man and you love frosting. You're a social drinker. You love food, but yet you're fit with no six pack. You don't have a runner's body. You can't be intimidated by me. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Comment what you think. It's ridiculous in my opinion. But if you don't think it's ridiculous, maybe you like these types of girls. I don't think I'd be able to date one that has such a long requirement list. Okay, I'm done. Have a good one, guys. Good luck this season with your relationships. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a funny one, to be honest. And uh. Peace.